We're going to look at an example with DC circuits, and specifically we're going to analyze the direction of current flow when we use Kirchhoff's laws. So, I give you a very simple circuit, a battery with voltage V equals 10 volts, resistor with resistance R is equal to 10 ohms, and I ask, what is the total current flowing in this simple circuit? So, we know from Ohm's law that the total current in the circuit is just I is equal to V divided by R, which is just one amp. However, let's treat this problem a little bit more formally using Kirchhoff's laws. So first, I need to draw a current in every branch of the circuit. Since there's only one branch, there's only one loop, I'm going to guess that the current flows clockwise, and I've drawn it in in the diagram. So now I'm going to use Kirchhoff's voltage rule to sum the voltages around the circuit. I'll start in the lower left-hand corner, just below the battery, and I'll move in a clockwise direction. So I get plus V, minus IR, because I'm moving with the current, is equal to zero as I trace around the circuit. And then I can just rearrange everything a little bit, and I get I is equal to V divided by R, which is one amp, which is exactly what we expect from last time. But now suppose that I guess the wrong direction for the current. Now remember, when we analyze Kirchhoff's laws, it shouldn't make a difference. I should get the same answer at the end of the day. It should just have an opposite sign signifying that I guessed the wrong direction. So, once again, I'm going to use Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law, and I'm going to follow exactly the same path. So, I'm starting in the left, uh, lower left-hand corner. I get plus V, because I'm going from the minus to the positive terminal of the battery, plus IR, because I'm moving against the current, in this case, is equal to zero. And so I get V is equal to minus IR, and I get I is equal to minus V over R, which is minus one amp. The magnitude of the current is correct, but the direction is incorrect, and that's why I get a negative answer. So, a few final thoughts. Number one, when I use Kirchhoff's laws, uh, we can guess the direction of the current in a branch of the circuit. It doesn't matter uh, if you guess right or wrong, the math should work out just fine. Number two, if we guess correctly, the answer will be positive. If we guess incorrectly, the answer will be negative. Uh, and you saw that in the problem we just did. Number three, when we use Kirchhoff's voltage law, the path that you take is distinct from the current loops. So what I mean by that is you'll notice that in both cases, when I drew the current clockwise and counterclockwise, I arbitrarily chose to go on a clockwise path around the circuit. Now you don't have to choose that path, you can go on a counterclockwise path and you'll get the same answer. And in fact, my last bullet point there, I want you to try repeating this problem using counterclockwise paths in each case and making sure you get the same answer uh, in each of the setups.